Hi, this is Travis with Wakanda Boats. We're here in Republican City, Nebraska, and also Glen Eller, Kansas. And today we get to show you the new 2020. This is the 2025 Impact XS. Um, this boat has uh, always been our most popular 20-foot boat. This is the best value you can get in the 20-foot uh, category within one. Um, this was our second most popular boat overall last year, uh, second only to the crossover. Um, and you'll, I, we'll try and show you in this video why, why it is in such high demand. Um, it's just a great big water boat. It's priced very, very competitive. And they made a lot of really great changes for it for 2020, a lot of that being in the aesthetics. So we have a couple of them sitting here side by side. I wanted to have these side by side so you could see the difference in the color schemes. Um, the bulk of what we stock is either going to be black silver or white silver just because that's what most guys are demanding, one of those two colors. And if you look, one of the great changes for 2020, they added this silver metallic uh, accent in the freeboard. So we actually have a two-tone paint in the freeboard, which I really, really like. I think that really sets it off. It kind of gives it that custom look. Um, we have all new graphics. We have the 3D logo there uh, toward the rear, which is kind of similar to some of the Pro Vs. Um, this boat, uh, it's 20 foot, two inches long. It's very, very comparable to a Pro V. In fact, it has the same hull. It's the IPS2 hull. Um, the difference with this versus the Pro V is really the interior layout. And once we get inside the boat, I will explain how this interior is set up versus uh, like say a, a 20 or a 1975 Pro V. Um, we will have a new uh, 19, Terry will give you a 1975 Pro V as soon as we get the new 2020s in. Because most guys that are looking at this boat are gonna compare the two boats. Um, so this video will really explain the differences, uh, again, mainly in the interior. So let's stay on the outside. Again, we have the, this one shown here as a black silver. You can see the metallic in that silver, um, which is just beautiful. When you get these out in the sunlight, they really pop. Um, they're always going to have the tandem axle trailer. It's got disc brakes. All the trailers now have the armor coating on them. So it's got two coats of Rhino liner. It has swing away tongue with disc brakes. We always put the load guides on them here. These are the higher set load guides. These are really handy, not just for loading the boat, but also for the, for the guy that's back in the trailer down. You can always kind of know where your trailer position is with these higher side guides. Um, LED lights, um, again, always like all the Shorelander trailers with Lund, you have a retractable tie down. Um, really nice wide beam, just like any Lund's gonna have. Um, again, this, this, the dimensions of this boat is very similar to the Pro V. Uh, we have, of course, the, two, the new 200 horse V6 Merc, uh, Mercury outboard. Uh, these motors came out last June. Um, if you do some research on these, you're going to find they've got very rave reviews. It's a great engine. Um, it's it's better than the Verado, as good as the Verado motor was. This does everything that that Verado does better. Uh, it's a it's a smoother idle. There's no prop vibration at lower idle. Um, nothing but good things to say about this engine. Um, back here um, on the XS model, we always do the in, the in uh, splash well boarding ladder. So this is going to be similar to like a tie or a crossover. This ladder doesn't take up any extra space. So you can see you have your casting deck here, but you can fold this out and you've got a four full step boarding, boarding ladder here. So it's a very nice uh, convenient ladder that doesn't take up any space, doesn't stick out for guys that want to do water sports. Okay. Um, let's hop in the inside and we'll kind of go over the uh, interior features and some of the changes that they made. Um, now when you see an XS with any Lund, that XS means it has rear flip jump seats. Okay, so I really like this uh, design uh, as far as the flip seat design. If you look, this is your casting deck here. Um, but you have these seats that flip up if you need them. So you know, they don't take up any extra space, but you have extra seating capacity if you need it. And then of course there is uh, dry storage under each one of these seats. So you have storage compartment here, and then another storage compartment here that, uh, that will be where the crank battery is stored, of course. And you fold these down, you got a really nice casting deck. You can move your fish seat up here. Um, we have the ski pylon bracket here for anybody that wants to add that pylon. We try and always keep those in stock. For the customers that are going to do some water sports, you have a, a pylon available. Really big uh, aft uh, live well. This is the full 35 inch live well. I forget the exact gallon capacity, but it's very large. Uh, this has got an LED light, it's lighted, uh, built in timer, and it also has a recirc as well. 
So, um, big live well here. Now I want you to notice, uh, if we can pan over here to this white one we have, this one was recently purchased, and I kind of wanted to get you a visual of what they look like rigged. We always customize the boat for the buyer, so you can see he's running a couple HDS7 Lowrance lives. Uh, he's got a 36 volt 112 Ultera iPilot on the bow. And he also opted for the sport top. So if you can look in the cockpit there on his, it's very similar to a tie or a crossover. The awesome thing about the XS models, that sport top will hide away. It's got a storage compartment underneath the casting deck. So for the guys that want to run a top, um, it's got a storage compartment to get it out of the way. This customer opted for the top, so you can see that's kind of what it looks like in its storage position. Um, now, the, the impacts we stock, we're always torn because literally half the buyers want the top, half the buyers don't, so we try and just stock half and half. So we'll try and always have them available either with or without the top. If you look back on the one we're in here now, this doesn't have the top, although it can easily be added, but you can see this recess underneath the casting deck. That's purposely there, so we, if a guy wants a top, it'll slide under there nice and neat. Okay, um, let's stay here to the port side. So the difference between a Pro-V and an Impact is going to be this flip seat here in the rear, and then the other thing is the gunnel storage. Okay, so on a Pro-V, the gunnel storage is going to be level here with the top of the gunnel and go down. Some people prefer that. Uh, I'm finding more people prefer this design, and this is because you still have adequate gunnel storage here, where you can get rods or dry storage, whatever you want, but. The advantage with this style is if you want to lay rods down here, you can. In fact, we do the on-the-go rod storage here. Or sit or lay stuff down where you're not really worrying about it falling overboard. And then you have a little bit more open, usable space. There's a little bit more living space here with this design. So when you're comparing this to, say, a Pro-V, the main difference is going to be the flip seat design and then the gunnel storage design. So that's, that's really the only difference, I want to say, between this and the same size Pro-V. Now I will mention this too, and I didn't know this till a customer pointed it out to me earlier this spring. This 2025 Impact is actually three inches deeper than the 1975 Pro V is. So it is a slightly higher freeboard, some people prefer. Um, let's uh, see, so we have still some more gunnel storage here on the starboard side. And then we always do the Pro Ride seats, you notice, as so we upgrade the seats to the Pro Ride, and they're all Air Ride pedestals. That comes with the comfort package that we put on them. So again, that comfort package gives you the kicker stereo, and then you have tilt steering, and then of course the steering is hydraulic. We're always going to do hydraulic steering with anything we stock with 150 horse or and above. Um, uh, look here, when I'm sitting in the driver's seat, it's similar to the Pro-V, a recessed gunnel here. So you've got really nice, good elbow room to run your controls. Now a lot of guys will run a kicker on this motor, which is, if he does, we're going to install that kicker control right here. So. The nice thing about this recessed gunnel, especially running two controls, you got adequate elbow room to maneuver both controls. Um, you can see they got a really nice dash. They kind of changed the console cap. I really like we're run, they're running a, a black anodized um, windshield frame now that looks really cool, I think. Um, you know, the dash is very similar though to last year as far as you got full instrumentation, master switch, kicker stereo that is MP3 Bluetooth. And then the under console drawers, these are very handy. These are lockable drawers with a stainless steel ball bearing, so it's a very smooth uh, drawer system that you can lock. Um, I'm going to move over here. Got a really spacious glove box, just like every Lund has. Uh, again, you've got your lockable drawer here. And then you have a fish ruler on the side, similar to the Pro V's. And then uh, again, the the uh, bow rod storage. So this is going to look very similar to the Pro V. Um, let's see, that's 12 rod tubes, and I believe you can get eight footers on top and seven and a half on the bottom. Unless that changed, that's that's what it was last year. Um, and if you, you know, we have the other one rigged for the other customer. But if you notice, the trolling batteries are going to go underneath that panel, and then the onboard charger we mount it has its own compartment there where we install the charger. Okay, so we'll move up here to the bow. Just like any Pro V or Impact, they're known for a big spacious bow. You got plenty of bow space here, not only to fish out of, but a lot of dry storage. So we've got a big dry storage compartment here on the starboard side. Uh, we always stock these with the travel cover, which is what that is. Uh, those travel covers are really nice because they've got clips and, and they don't have snaps. They'll clip on the outside of that gunnel. Um, 
Bow cargo netting is standard on the 2025, so you're going to get that no matter what. Um, you do have a bow live well as well. This is your bow live well, which is very good size by, by bow live well standards. And then we always stock the uh, bow bait well option. Um, you know, if you use live bait, this is a godsend because it just, it's very, it makes it handier getting to the live bait, especially if you're fishing from the bow. The guys that don't use a lot of live bait, it doesn't really take up any space. You know, even if you're only gonna use it part of the time, I just feel like that's a very inexpensive option. So we try and put that on all of them. And then you have a starboard side bow dry storage here as well. And then if you hop up in the bow here, we got another storage compartment here on the front side port console. So this all partitioned off here would be glove box. Everything under here is more dry storage, so there's no wasted space. That's really handy to have that there, just for, you can never have too much dry storage. So, um, so you can see all the great changes they made. You can see why this boat is so popular. Again, it was our second best seller only to the crossover last year. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything we wanted to talk about for 2020. Um, any questions, let Terry's in Glen Elder, Kansas, and I'm Travis here in Republican City, Nebraska. You can, uh, you can call us anytime or email. The email and everything is on the website, which is wakandaboats.com. Thank you very much.